So now we're going to look at how to use the PyCharm IDE after it just finished installation. Okay, so I'm going to click on I'm going to click on the search window of the Windows 10, and and I'm going to type PyCharm, and right away I get PyCharm Community Edition 2021.2.2, which I just installed. So I'm going to click on there, and it's going to start running. It's got a beautiful sp splash screen. Uh, nothing to do over here. Uh, all you need to do is just click OK. <laughs> OK, so we come to uh, the Welcome to PyCharm screen and got a few options. Now, uh, I would heavily recommend that you do take a start tour. So click on there and it's going to take you to different um, introduce you to the PyCharm editor. Uh, but at the moment here I'm gonna just directly dive into new project because I've already if I already have a project created and I've worked on it before I would go on to the open and open that project but I don't have any at the moment so I'm gonna click here. Okay so it's asking for the location where um, it will create a project. Now PyCharm expects a uh, uh, project to be defined by folders so the so the whole folder is taken to be a project all right so I, I, I need to specify a folder that is newly because I'm creating a new project I need to specify a folder that is newly created it has nothing in there it should have nothing in there all right remember if 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 there's anything in there pycharm will include that file as part of that project which we don't want at the moment all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, uh, okay, that's my folder, Python for Everyone, which is this video course. So I've created a folder for there, and I've got all the videos stored in there. And I've got I created a projects folder in there as well. So I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to create uh, a new folder, which I'm going to label test. So I, uh, it's a test project. We're just testing our PyCharm installation. So I just call it test. And it's empty because I just created it and, and that's how it's going to be. All right, we're going to keep it like that. I'm going to go in there and I need to copy the path of this test folder. And then um, go back there and in in the location box, uh, right click menus doesn't seem to work. Okay. So uh, you just, all, all you need to do, highlight and then press Control V combination and it's going to paste the whole path that's there, including that test folder which we just created. All right, and so uh, then after putting in the location, come down and instead of the new environment which is currently checked, uh, we'd like to click on or check on previously configured interpreter. And so uh, click on the three dots next to it and it opens up another box and go in there and click on system interpreter and it already uh, comes up with the right path. Remember that we installed Python interpreter on exactly this path and the root drive which is C colon backslash and then Python and then slash Python 310 um, and it, it found the executable which we installed in there. So that's good enough. We go and click on OK and it now brings up uh, the interpreter in there. Uh, a very very important thing is that um, un don't forget to uncheck this box otherwise if you keep leave it checked it's going to create a main.py file um, in your new project and that will have some sample code which I just find irritating and I and I don't want to name my Python file as main.py because it always names it main.py I don't want to do that I want to name it whatever I like to name. So uncheck it. I would heavily suggest you do that. And then uh, so that it creates an empty project and not a project with main.py already in there. So then hit the create and start working. Alrighty. Okay. So um, it comes up with a tip show every time it launches it's going to show a tip um, if it's up to you, I just would like to say don't show me the tips and close it. And on the left, um, what you have is actually the project pane. 
and in there you can see that cre already created a test pro a project called named text test and if you go in there um, you will see that it has created some other folder within your test folder and it has some files so we don't want to worry about that we don't care about that at the moment or at any other time as well so don't worry about that all right so um, I want to create a, a, a Python file in and make it part of this project test all right so I would right click on this blue um, bar and then go to new and select file and then it's asking me for the name of the file I'll just I like to um, just name it the same as uh, my project so it, it's okay you can you can have the same name as your project as well so test.py is my Python file and the name of the project is also test hit enter and it creates a file under this and also creates um, um, a tab in the editor where you can type in your code and if you go to your file explorer you'll find that it has also created actually a file in there test.py good okay uh, so far so good so I'm gonna go and type something in there so let's say print hello everybody out there and after you're done you know because it already uh, matches your quotes or double quotes and parentheses so uh, I want to go to the end to hit new line but if I, if I hit a new line over here it's gonna break it down so that's not good okay so that's not good um, so so after here sorry um, well I'm gonna show you in the next line what to do after that and print um, this is my first PyCharm experience okay I want to go to the end of the line now and hit enter so I can come to the next line so like all I all I need to do is press tab twice and it takes me to the end or you can also press the end key if you have on your laptop all laptops have um, and come to the end um, good Python day have a good Python day all right all righty that's good good cool let I want to run it now all three statements so we're gonna go okay over here um, is the run menu run buttons but they are disabled at the moment because um, we need to go f for the very first time when you create a new project you need to go to the run and hit the run button it comes up with a uh, a configuration button a, a, a box and all you need to do is click on the test the name of your project which is test and it runs it and it opens up a run console at the bottom see it's a run console and it shows you the name of the project you're running there's also the name of the console is underneath as well over here and it prints out all of these statements that we printed out using our print command so cool as soon as it does that um, all of these it shows the name of the project over here so it's already configured that means and all the buttons are available as well this is the run button and this is the debug button remember we talked about under the IDE a tool called debug we will uh, look at it later on that's there as well so if I want to add something more uh, let's say print start off my messages right and then print end of my messages okay 
and I'm just gonna this time I'm just gonna go ahead and run, hit run directly and so it starts running like that okay so it prints it in with, with new statements if 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 you want to clear it clear your console your uh, output console or run console you hit right click while your mouse is in the console and say clear all and it clears again and you can run again there you go all right cool so far let's look at some other stuff uh, there uh, you know at the bottom of uh, the pie charm you see the name of the different consoles that are available um, we already seen the the run console you can click on there and disappears and you can click on again and it appears magic uh, there's a terminal console you click on there and it's, it's beautiful pie charm is beautiful um, and it comes up with um, a terminal it it's it likes it, it's like it gives you the uh, same command line same command prompt option as you get in Windows so like if you type CMD and hit enter it shows you a command box it's exactly like this over here all everything that you can do in here you can do over here and there as well right so I can for example I can just like I was able to type Python and launch the Python interpreter from the command line this is the same command line um, as in Windows all right so I can type in Python and it launches the Python interpreter for me and I can do all all of those things here There you go. Okay. Okay, cool. Another thing is I can there's a plus sign over here so I can launch as many terminals as I like. So I can do different things in there. And I don't even have to leave the IDE. All right? So that's a cool stuff. I just I'll just get rid of all of these cuz I don't know I don't need at the moment. All right. So terminal prompt terminal um, um, uh, console is here and then um, um, sorry okay you can add packages um, from here as well but I, I, I'll talk about about it uh, later on more uh, moving further right we see Python console and when you click on it uh, uh, in on my machine it asks for Windows asks for clearance so I'll say yes um, allow access I don't know why and there's a full-fledged Python console there so I don't need to go to the terminal and type Python um, the um, th there is a, 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 a dedicated Python console and it's much better than going to the interpreter through the terminal or through the Windows command line why because I'll tell you why um, I so let, let me just type in the same kind of stupid messages just to show it works Yeah, it works. I can create variables. 54. As I create a variable, um, on the right side, it shows me the variables created in this environment, so which is wonderful. Um, almost like a uh, spider, right? So you will not miss the spider that much. Um, B, let's say, I don't know, 6 and then add a plus and so create it shows it shows you b over here as well and its value and i type in a plus b and it gives me whatever all right okay so yeah uh it you here also you can create multiple python consoles so on your left in this case the plus sign is on the left vertical bar i can create a new console it doesn't have a and b it doesn't recognize while well, this continue to recognize a and b so if i type in um if I type in A in the old one, it's going to show me the value of A, which is 54. In the new one, if I type in A, it tells me that A is not defined. So this is wonderful because now I can create a new Python console with new environment, which has nothing to do with the previous one. And I can do some other stuff that I just wanted to test. And I can create another one and another one and another one and however many I need. All right and they are all independent they don't share anything among themselves which is good alrighty okay so yeah okay so one last thing before I end this lesson is um, another beautiful feature of PyCharm is that I can select or highlight 
uh, any statement or a bunch of statements and right click on them a, a, menu, a context menu appears and I can go down almost to the end and say execute selection in Python console so by by clicking on this one it's gonna execute only the highlighted statement which is wonderful I can highlight one two or as many as I like and I don't worry I have to worry about uh, that it's gonna execute the whole file I only want to test something so there you go and it executed only these two statements it printed out only that stuff which is wonderful right because I because th th the, the reason why it's um, very helpful is that I've got a whole program let's suppose written doing doing different things and I just want to test out um, a few statements I, I may want to test out a loop or so or something so I can write something over here uh, a is 67 and let's say B is uh, 87 and whatever and then C is uh, A times B right and then I don't know what the result is I just want I'm so excited and checking it out um, and that's it and it has nothing to do with the rest of the program it may not ex actually match with it in in fact if you try to run it uh, it's possible that you know they if well, since they don't match together it doesn't match together with the rest of the program you get you get a syntax error so, okay uh, because of that because I'm just I just want to check something really quick all right so all I need to do is highlight all of these stuff and a better way to do it is click on the number side because if you click over here um, it, it's gonna create a breakpoint which is actually something which is meant for the debugger so we're not going to talk about debugger at the moment bus but uh, click on on the numbers and s highlight as many statements as you like then right click and select the run file oh uh, no sorry the execute selection in Python console there you go and it executes all of these statements only see it, it even shows you those statements and then give you the sum of multiplication of these I don't know what, what it, the answer should be but I, I trust um, the system in this case. Alright, so that's cool. Uh, we're going to stop over here and move to the next part.